Hey guys, welcome back to my bathroom counter. As you can see, I'm getting ready for the day. I've done all of my makeup, except obviously for my non-existent eyebrows. So I'm going to be demonstrating the Mad Love Eyebrow Powder Stamp Kit today. I actually learned about this product because uh, someone in a Facebook group that I'm in posted a video of like all these cool new beauty products that you didn't know existed that work really well. And the section on this eyebrow stamp, the woman, I'll try to put a clip of it if I can find it, but she, you know, stamped it on and she was like, oh, and it looked really good. And I think there were about three different people in that video who were trying this set. I'm, I'm wholly and completely terrified. This is... I am not a professional. Okay, here we go. Shut the Are you kidding me right now? I was like, you know what? I'll give it a shot because my eyebrows are the one thing I always have to do. Uh, as you can see, my face looks very blank and, um, I don't know, like undefined without eyebrows. So I always, um, I always use an eyebrow pencil. My favorite is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, the little um, thin point one. And then I often also use a brow pomade and my favorite lately has been the Morphe pomade. And I'm pretty reliably a taupe color in all brow products. So um, on the Mad Love site, they actually have like a quiz for you to put in like your hair color and different things and see what um, color stamp they recommend for you. And mine actually came out as a recommendation for the blonde color and I was like, I, that's gonna be way too light for me. So I went ahead and ordered the taupe anyway and you'll see, but I think even this is too light for me. So probably if I were ever to repurchase it, I would get the next step up, whatever like light brown color they have. Uh, but so in the packet, you get um, like a thing to scan to view a tutorial, but I've already seen people use it. And you get a little spoolie brush. You get the um, stamp, of course, which is just in this little tube and you unscrew it. And so inside this half of the tube is the powder. And then this half is like the you know applicator. So when it's screwed together, it puts the right amount of powder on the tip of the applicator. Um, you can kind of feel there's like springs in here bouncing, keeping it kind of pushed tight together. And then the last thing in here is this little sleeve with all of the uh, brow stencils. So there's five different shaped stencils and you know, you're supposed to hold them up to your brow and see like which one uh, covers best over the area of your brow. So they're basically all too big for me. Um, but something I have learned over the course of the last year and a half wearing a mask all the time is my face is apparently a non-standard size and shape. So I wasn't really surprised, but I ended up finding that a uh, stencil number one fits the majority of my brow the best. And let me see if I can get up close enough to show you. So stencil number one fits like this part of my brow the best. Then when we get to the tail part, my tail doesn't go where this tail is. So I figured, you know, if I'm if I'm stamping it on and my eyebrows, you basically can't see anyway, maybe it won't matter if I stamp where there's no brow hair. Um, usually when I do my brows, like with a pencil, I do trace over where the hair goes. It's just invisible hair, but there is hair there. And so I feel like that is the natural placement of my eyebrow. Um, this one, the tail just comes out like a lot further than my actual eyebrows and it goes out like, you know, a lot farther down the side of my face. So on the stencil, you'll see there's marks for long and short. And then you'll see on the other end, it says to start at that end. So you kind of start with the tail and work your way over. And then you just do one side and then flip it over and do the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate on one brow and show you how it works out on me. So I'm going to line it up and you just use your fingers to hold the two ends in place. You know what, I should have had this cap off to begin with. Okay, now I'm prepared. I'll use my little spoolie, get my hairs all brushed, line up the stencil. And now I'm gonna take the stamp and just stamp over the stencil. Should 
be it. Uh, as you can see, I mean, I guess it looks okay. It's not my usual eyebrow shape and I just feel like it comes way down the side here. Um, but now you can wipe it off so you don't smudge what you put on when you do your other eye. And let me do the other side. Maybe I should keep forgetting <laughs> this thing. You have to screw it together and unscrew it to like reapply more of the stamp. Okay, now we'll line it up. And stamp it on. I think it's just because the color's so light, but I feel like really nothing is coming off on my face. Oh gosh, that's such a weird shape. It's so weird looking to me. So, oh gosh, it's like not even where my brow hair is. Okay, but you know what? Here's the positive and negative. Um, if you don't like where it was placed, it wipes off immediately. It, it does not have any kind of staying power. Uh, so, um, yeah, I guess the good news is if you mess up with the placement, you can start over very easily. I'm going to try this side one more time. I think my eyebrows just really is not the standard shape. I don't know what's going on in this side. It's like not even coming out the same shape as the stencil. But anyway, uh, here I am with my Mad Love eyebrows. So basically, um, I mean, I hate to say it because I'm a big fan of eyebrow products, uh, but this one, you know, being locked into one of five standard eyebrow templates, um, if you are a non-standard person, it's not going to work for you. Maybe there's a way you can like custom cut your own eyebrow template. Um, the color recommendation from the website was not right for me, and even going up a shade. Uh, is, is still a little lighter than I would prefer. I think probably like one shade darker um, would be closer to what I usually do. And then um, staying power, I mean, like you saw, it's a shame this, this side looks okay, but I'm just gonna wipe it away. So staying, staying power wise, um, it really just brushes right off. And I haven't even tried you know, wearing this out for the day. So um, I don't know if you would sweat it off or, or what might happen, but um, I don't know how you might better lock it in. Um, maybe using some like eyelid primer and maybe like a setting spray might help with longevity. Um, I don't know, but overall, I mean, it was fun. It's a, it's a great idea. I just wish it were a little more customizable to my personal needs. So um, I would love to hear if anyone else has tried this product. Um, I would love to see someone else's results because like I said, the, the video that I saw that sold me on this looked amazing, it looked super simple, but in reality for me personally and my weird shaped face, um, this doesn't seem to be the product for me. So I think for now I'm just gonna stick with my trusty pencil and my pomade and draw my eyebrows on myself every day. So thank you for watching and hopefully that was useful.